Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at Sitecore components and working with external data sources and answer a few questions along the way. So how about we start here in the XM Cloud dashboard. We're going to click in to the components module. Now the first question that was asked was for the data sources, do these data sources need to follow a particular schema? Uh, can they be REST, GraphQL? And the answer to all of those is yes. They can be REST or GraphQL. They can be any schema you want. The way that we've orchestrated our data sourcing for components is we will simply grab the data from your endpoint and it'll allow you to map whatever the response is. As an example, Tom's gonna to start with a contentful data source. We're starting with Contentful because we really want to drive home the point that Sitecore, when we say composable, we really mean composable. So we've built the product on component side to use a data source with data in any source, not just our own products. So you'll see here a Contentful project with a couple of speakers and a couple of names, a couple of pictures. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab Contentful's REST API endpoint. This is also would work with Contentful's GraphQL endpoint. So we're gonna go in here, we're going to create a new data source and we'll call it a sample kind of Contentful data source, give it a title. And then we're gonna say it's a demo data source for this video, uh, for a description. You can also have a couple of options here. So one, you could simply paste in a JSON structure that you're responsible to build out and that'll give the structure. Uh, this is a useful example if you have an API behind a firewall and it's hard to actually make a lot of requests from Sitecore directly to it. Uh, and that's fine, you just paste it in. But what we're going to do here is we're going to paste in the REST API endpoint. And this hits the actual contentful space, hitting it with the token. And uh, so Sitecore goes into contentful, grabs the response back, and we can use the data in the response to map against UI elements in components. So this is the structure. Uh, what we can do here is go down here and find the actual fields that need to be included and then use this in visual mapping. Now we're going to show what that looks like in just a second, but the answer to the first part, plug in any URL, REST, GraphQL, or simply paste in a JSON object. That gets you the structure into the system. And from there we can actually go and map the data into components. Now, based on live dynamic data, we're using that structure. And now we're gonna jump in and take a look at a real component. So we're gonna jump in here, gonna go look at components. There's a pre-made component here that we have called the speaker's grid. We're, the idea here is to kind of show how we've been working in the components product um, and be able to really try to show that we're trying to build the best visual builder in the world. And what that means is that, of course, we have things like static text. Uh, so you can come in here, you can type in a title. Um, you can also easily drag and drop elements all over the place. And you can really quickly change things like layouts or sizes or dimensions. Now we really want to get to a point where anything you could do with the power CSS, you could point and click in a components canvas. Now, where this gets really interesting is this isn't just static content. We've got a pre-made component here with a couple of images uh, and some text, and we're gonna actually see where we're repeating parts of the component over the collection of speakers into this asset collection. So taking from Contentful and then repeating. So essentially we're getting some data from Contentful we're mapping it against a sub collection of that data. And in the individual parts of the component, we're mapping against individual fields. So you'll see here, uh, Contentful spits out a data source. We're mapping that image source into the URL. And then we're mapping the text to the title field. We're mapping the description to the description field. And this is all completely data-driven. 
Now, this gets really powerful when you talk about composing data sources. So in a real life application, we wouldn't just get a little bit of data from one data source and map it onto the page. We might get, for example, the title from one data source, and we might get the subtitle from another data source. And we might get the images from Content Hub, or we might get the text from Contentful. Uh, so previously, it's been really difficult to orchestrate all of these different points of connectivity. So we brought all of that into one platform that allows you to easily create data sources and then map them into these pixel perfect UIs. And that can be easily styled and easily created without a lot of reinventing the wheel. Where this all comes together with the rest of Sitecore is we can take this component and we can come into the pages product. So this is orchestrating the entire page and we can take the elements for building components and use each of our Sitecore components to orchestrate an entire page experience. So what we're doing here is we're gonna click through and select the component that was pre-made, that speaker's grid. And this is a powerful thing that you're seeing here, right? It's an XM Cloud page with lots of content coming from XM Cloud data sources. But it's got a Sitecore component coming out of our Sitecore components product with data coming from Contentful. All of this living together in one place. Now, we really truly want to make it as easy as possible to build these like pixel perfect web pages, right? And with data coming from hundreds of potentially different places. So we want you to be able to right click, connect, map, drop it into pages. And that's it. You're done.